Today we're going to be going over the basic steps of turning on the machine and using CST. I want to give the machine a couple minutes to start up. You want to go onto your desktop and press the UV laser application. And on the screen right next to it, you're going to see um, a sticky note telling you exactly how the UV laser works and how to turn it on. When looking at the screen, you'll be seeing this. You want to make sure that you set the power to 20 and click this knob and you'll see the green light flashing. And then after a couple seconds, you should see the current change and the power go up. That looks good. The next thing you want to do is to go into the Diva software. From here, you'll log into your account. Once it says connected, you're good to go. Go into Cytometer, press CST, and this screen will come up. Before you run CST, you want to make sure that you have enough sheet fluid. This is a running empty so I'm going to refill it and you want to make sure that the bleach is not full. The next thing you want to do is go into our fridge and grab the vial that says CST on it. If this is not in there or there's a little bit left, what you want to do is grab a whole new um, test tube, put drops of water, about six drops of water until it comes to around here and then you would want to grab the bead lot, make sure that you spin it, and add two drops. But since we already have one made, what we will do is we make sure it is spun. We will put it onto the machine. For the LSR, you want to press run. And then go over into the CST application and press run. It's going to make sure that you have the correct bead lock and you want to press OK. And then CST will run. And this is what a normal CST should look like. So the machine has just found the beads and it's going to go over the set of tasks until it is done with the results. Once you're done, you're gonna get the screen. It's gonna say, cytometer setup and tracking, unload the CST beads. Make sure that when you unload the CST beads, you put back the DI water for the LSR. machine and stand by and then you come back to the screen and press ok you want to view the report and then the two main things that we're looking here is the bright beat robust cvs and the delta pm tv what you want to make sure here is that the first of each laser is rarely low you don't want to see high numbers or anything going up to six. The machine will tell you a warning. It will look something like this, saying that it's too high and that the CST failed. But seeing our numbers, are good. they're pretty low. And then going into the Delta P MTV, this is basically just showing you where the machine is performing at right now compared to when we created the baseline. So these numbers are all fairly good. And then after that, you can just exit out of the screen and you're ready to start your experiment. And make sure you always press use CST settings. That's it. Thanks for watching.